So today we're going to be unboxing the 21 inch version of the Apple iMac. Now this is the version with the Core i5 processor and the GT750 GPU. We'll be doing an in-depth review on this device. Please subscribe to stay tuned for that review. So let's go ahead and open the box up. Let's cut that tape open. Okay, the tape's been cut open. We can open the lid up. And once the lid is open, we can open the doors. And let's see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing we seem to be able to pull out is this packet. It isn't a packet of manuals or paperwork, but it's rather the keyboard that comes with it and the magic mouse. So you have the Apple keyboard and the magic mouse. Okay, and once that's done, we're gonna open this lid up. So we're gonna lay the packet flat and it makes it very easy to get the device out of the box. So lay the packet flat, then open this flap up. This flap opens up, tilt it slightly, and you can lift the iMac out of its boxed cradle. And in terms of what's inside the box, this is pretty much the last thing you can take out of the box, which is the iMac itself. There's nothing else inside the box. So before we take the iMac itself out of the styrofoam packaging, we're gonna take the cord out, which is out here, pull this little flap off, and the connection cord, which is pretty much the only connection cord you need for this device. That's the power cord. Now this is a dual voltage power cord, so you can use it anywhere in the world. And now finally, it's time to get the iMac out of its packaging. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull the styrofoam top cover off and gently slides off. We've turned the iMac around so you can see the back of the iMac. And we're just gonna pull the styrofoam pieces away. Okay, and there you go. That's the iMac itself. Now there's one last step, which is taking this cloth-like cover or rather microfiber cover off the iMac. Let's go ahead and do that. So you want to peel this label gently, peel off on the other side. And once that's off, you can gently pull and lift the cover off to reveal your brand new iMac. And we're going to take this cover on the back off, just there to protect the aluminum. Peel that off gently. You're gonna to have to lift it up to gently peel it off. And let's take the last bit of plastic wrapping off. In order to do that, just peel from the edges and the cover lifts right off. Do that for all the edges. And once that's done, you can turn the iMac around and just slip the cover off the iMac. And there you go. There's that beautiful screen. Okay, and we're gonna be setting this up in a minute. So just one thing to remember, the power button on this computer is on the back. Okay, and in order to set it up, we need to plug in the power cable. So let's go ahead and do that. And all you do in order to plug that in is slip it through this hole here and then push it into place so it's flush with the body of your iMac. And then we're gonna plug the iMac in. Now the Magic Mouse and keyboard are already paired with the iMac. So there's no real additional setup to perform. So let's go ahead and just turn on the iMac. And there you go, it turns on and powers up. Okay, and it's going through its initial boot cycle. So after its initial boot cycle, it asks you to power on your keyboard, which we will do. And we'll power on the keyboard by pressing down on this. And that lights up a green LED. It also asks us to power on the mouse, which we'll do by pressing up on this button and you'll see this green LED light up up here. Okay, and once that's done, we can now move the mouse. The mouse is working now and we can go ahead and click on the continue button. Then it asks us what language we'd like to select. So we're just gonna click on English for the main language and then click next. And then it's gonna ask you what country you're in. You can select the country you'd like. It, then it asks what keyboard layout you like and we'll say US. And then it asks us what Wi-Fi network we'd like to connect to. We're gonna select Vortex 1 which is our network in this case, and enter the password. And once that's done, we're gonna hit continue. All right, and then it asks you whether you'd like to transfer information to this Mac from another Mac or a Windows PC. We're not gonna do that currently. And then it asks you to sign in with an Apple ID. Now, if you don't have an Apple ID, it's very easy to set it up. We currently have an Apple ID, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that password. Okay, and once you've entered your Apple ID and hit continue. You can now agree to their terms and conditions. And then there's a second message which says I've read and agreed to the OS 10 software license agreement. 
iCloud Game Center terms and conditions and the Apple privacy policy. And if you do agree with it, click on agree. And that takes you to the next screen, which uh, allows you to put a full name and an account name for the local computer. You can choose any name you'd like, any account name you'd like. And then there's a password required it also asks you whether you'd like to register this Mac to your Apple ID. It's a good idea to do that for warranty purposes. And there you go. It starts setting your Mac up. Now the Mac has finished setting up and you're ready to use your brand new iMac. Now we'll be doing an extensive review on this iMac. So please subscribe to stay tuned for the full review. Hope this video has been useful. If it has, please like this video and thanks for watching.